All right, Laker Hall of Famer Kareem Abdul-Jabbar attended Coaches vs. Cancer event at T-Mobile Arena all like, last Monday night. And, well, the NBA's all-time leading scorer known for his sky hook is also a longtime activist. And he spoke with Amber Dixon about current athlete activism, his new book, Becoming Kareem, and his own experience beating cancer. It's not a death sentence. It does not have to be a death sentence. And that's, uh, that's a remarkable thing because medical science has given us the means now to manage a lot of different types of uh, diseases that heretofore were death sentences. So, uh, you know, we're, we're doing a lot better. Cancer does not discriminate. However, discrimination is something you have been fighting as an activist since your playing days. And I wonder what you think of current efforts by professional athletes like kneeling during the national anthem. Are those sufficient? Well, I think any peaceful protest that has uh, an intelligent focus, people will get the message. So I, I'm, I'm very proud of uh, the way that the NFL and the NBA players have uh, handled it because uh, they could have expressed a lot of anger. And that, that anger is justified, but uh, anger doesn't win you friends. So you have to learn how to patiently explain what your concerns are. And that's what they're doing. We have some things to change in this country uh, that still need to be changed. What would you say those are? Well, a whole, all kinds of things. Discrimination, um, harassing women. That would be nice, wouldn't it? We're finding out so much now about uh, how actually bad a problem that is. How do you think the president has reacted to these different types of protests? Uh, I, I think his uh, reactions have been uh, totally uh, unjustified. I want to ask you about John Wooden. How do you think he mm -hmm. would have handled the situation with the three UCLA basketball players being arrested in China for shoplifting? Uh, Coach Wooden would have been pretty upset. I don't know what he would have done. I don't know if he would have been like very curmudgingly and kicked him off the team or given him a chance. They're young men. People 18 and 19 years old really haven't developed their best wisdom as, as far as making choices is concerned. But I'd like to see more from them in, uh, as far as how sorry they are and what they're going to do to uh, show people that that's not really them. And LiAngelo Ball, his father, has said he may not have thought that Donald Trump did all that much to help them out. And now the president is saying he probably should have just let them in jail. What do you think about that response? Well, I don't know. You know, so, some people talk too much, you know. So um, I, I, I don't have any comment to make on that. It's, uh, I, I'll let them hash that out. <laughs> Tell me about the book that you have coming out. It seems like you have a new book coming out all the time. It's called Becoming Kareem, and it's about uh, the choices I made to become the man that I am. It goes from my childhood to my first year in the NBA, and I, I talk about my mentors and the things that I went through trying to figure out uh, who I wanted to be. And I, I think it's important that uh, people get a chance to, to read this. I, I hope parents uh, have it as a, as, as a must read for their kids because uh, they need to learn how to learn. And uh, mentoring is really a very effective means of learning. And uh, kids need to, to, to figure that out and uh, have the confidence and, uh, and the will to, to talk to people that uh, know a lot about what they're interested in because uh, that's usually good advice.